Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose. Your departed servant, Leonidas, Leon, Christ our God. And to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, and immortal, have mercy on us. Athanatos Holy God, Holy Mighty. behalf of the family, we welcome you to the funeral service of Leon Stam Stamus. The funeral service begins with the chanting of Psalm 118, broken up into three persons. These hymns are sung in the first person as if Leon himself were chanting them. Following this, there is a series of benedictions. We will have what are known as the hymns of St. John of Damascus, which largely reflect on the tension between life and death. There will be an epistle lesson, a gospel lesson, the eulogy I will offer. We will then say final repair, uh, uh, prayers for the repose of Leon's soul. In addition, we will provide you the opportunity at the end of the service to come forward and to pay your last respects. Let us begin the funeral service at this time. Blessed is our God, always now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. On the blameless in the way, alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, Teach me your statutes, hallelujah. My 
soul is worn with endless longings for your judgments at all times. Alleluia. My soul has slumbered from sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Alleluia. Incline my heart unto your testimonies and not unto covetousness. Alleluia. Despair took hold on me because of sinners that forsake your law. Alleluia. I am a partaker with all that fear you and with them that keep your commandments. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Leonidas Leon, departed this life, and for the forgiveness of his every transgression, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy. Let the Lord our God establish his soul where the just repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the remission of his sins. From Christ our mortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose. Your departed servant, Leon, Christ our God. And to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding, and I will learn your commandments. Have mercy on me, O Lord. For I am become as a bottle in the frost, yet your statutes have not forgotten. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I am yours, O save me. For after your statutes have I sought. Have mercy on me, O Lord. From your judgments I have not declined. For you have set a law for me. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever in return for your mercies. Have mercy on me, O Lord. It is time to serve the Lord, but they have violated your law. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Yeah, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. O ti si anasis isoi ki anapavsis. Tu que que me mano do luso de un Leonidas Cristo e o teu Simon que se te indoxan na pembomen sinto a nan com o Patrick que do Panagio que agatou que o pior subnebma de ninguém aí 
και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. And have mercy upon me, Alleluia. Look upon me and have mercy on me according to the judgment of them that love your name. Alleluia. I am young and accounted as nothing. Your statutes have I not forgotten. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your mercy, according to your judgments, quicken me. Alleluia. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, and because of your words my heart has been afraid. Alleluia. My soul shall live and shall praise you, and your judgments will help me. Alleluia. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commandments. Alleluia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are the resurrection and the life and the repose of your departed servant Leonidas, Leon, O Christ our God. And to you do we give glory with your eternal Father and your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. Like the sheep that was lost am I Call me up to you, O Savior, and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. You who of old did fashion me out of nothingness, and with your image divine did honor me. But because of transgression of your commandments did return me again, to the earth where I was taken, lead me back to be refashioned into that ancient beauty of your likeness. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Image am I of your unutterable glory, though I bear the scars of my stumblings. Have compassion on me, the work of your hands, a sovereign Lord, and cleanse me through your loving kindness. And the homeland of my heart's desire bestow on me by making me a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Give rest, O God, unto your servant, and appoint for him a place in paradise where the choirs of the saints, O Lord, and the just will shine forth like stars. To your servant that is sleeping, now do you give rest, overlooking all, all of his offenses. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the trinal radiance of thee, when God had with reverence song acclaiming, let us cry, Holy are you, O eternal Father and Son, also eternal, and Spirit divine. Shine with your light on us, who with faith adore you, 
and from the far eternal rescue us. Both now and forever into the ages of ages, amen. Hail, O gracious lady, that in the flesh bears God for the salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you may we find paradise, Theotokos, our Lady, pure and blessed. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 lux asi o Theos. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. With the saints give rest, O Christ, to the soul of your servant, where there is no pain, nor any sorrow, nor any sighing, but life everlasting. with sorrow where the glory which on earth had stood firm and unchanged all things are weaker than shadow all more elusive than dreams comes one, one fell stroke, stroke and death in turn prevails over all these vanities wherefore in the light of Christ of your countenance and in the sweetness of your beauty, to him whom you have chosen grant repose, for you are the friend of mankind. My cup blossom that wastes away, and like a dream that passes and is gone, so is every mortal into the streets of but again when the trumpet sounds its call as though at a quaking of the earth all the dead shall arise and go forth to meet you o christ our god on that day o lord for him whom you have withdrawn from among us, appoint a place in the tentings of your saints, yea, for the spirit of your servant, O Christ. Vanity are all the works and quest of man, and they have no being after death has come. Our wealth is with us no longer. How can our glory go with us? For when death has come, all these things are vanished clean away. Wherefore to Christ, the immortal King, let us cry. To him that has departed, grant repose. 
Where a home is prepared, those whose hearts you have filled with gladness. Terror truly past compare is by the mystery of death inspired. Now the soul and the body part is joined by restless might. And their concord is broken, and the bond of nature which made them live and grow as one, now by the edict of God, is rest in twain. Wherefore now we implore your aid, grant that your servant now gone, to rest where the just that are yours abide, life bestower and friend of mankind. Uh, I call to mind the prophet who shouted, I am but earth and ash. And once again I look with attention on the tombs, and I saw the bones therein, which of flesh were naked, and I said, Who indeed is the king, who the soldier, who the wealthy, and who the needy, who the righteous, and who the sinner? But to your servant, the Lord, Grant that with a righteous he may now repose. My beginning and foundation was the form bestowing word of your commandment. For it pleased you to make me by compounding visible and invisible nature into a living thing. Out of earth was my body formed and made, but a soul you gave me. By the divine in life created in breathing, wherefore, O Christ, to your servant in the land of the living, in the courts of the righteous do you grant repose. When in your own image and likeness you in the beginning did create and fashion man, mm. you gave him a home in paradise and made him the chief of your creation. But by the devil's envy, alas, beguiled to eat the fruit forbidden, transgressor then of your commandments he became. Wherefore, back to the earth, from which he first was taken, you did sentence him to return again. O oh, Lord, and we pray to you that you give our brother rest. I weep and with tears lament when with understanding I think on death and see how in the graves there sleeps the beauty which once for us was fashioned in the image of God, but now is shapeless, ignoble, and bearer of all the graces. Oh, how strange a thing! What is this mystery which concerns us humans? Why were we given up to decay? And why to death united in wedlock? Truly as it is written, these things come to pass by ordinance of God, who to him now gone gives rest. Glory. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The death which you have endured, O Lord, is become the harbinger of deathlessness. If you had not been laid in your tomb, then would not the gates of paradise been open. Wherefore to him now gone from us give rest, for you are the friend of mankind. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. Virgin, chaste, and holy, gateway of the word, mother of our God, make supplication. That his soul find mercy. Blessed is the way wherein you walk this day. For there is prepared for you a place of everlasting rest. Attend. Unto you, O Lord, will I cry. Wisdom. The reading is from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians. Let us attend. Brethren, we would not have you ignorant concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven like a cry of command, and with the archangel's call, and with the, tra the, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first, then we who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Irini min de keimi. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, 
Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. An unrelenting passion for life. That was Leonidas Stamis. When I hear the name, I am reminded of the ancient Greek Leonidas of Spartan fame and the 300 who defeated the Persians. He was relentless, passionate, and had his own way of doing things. Our Leonidas Stamis, who we are praying for today, also had roots in Sparta. He, however, did not go to battle, although he probably could have. But he built his family, his business, and so many wonderful relationships because he was contagious to be around. Immediately, I did not see the church filled but I saw that when we processed the coffin, all of you kept coming and coming and coming. And that is itself a testament to who he was. He was born in Providence to Greek immigrants and established himself in the automotive industry with hard work and dedication. Let's say for whatever reason you couldn't find Leon if you looked on the water, however, you were likely to see him there. He played hard, but he worked hard. When he wasn't on the water, he wasn't just sitting at home. He was skiing in the winter, jet skiing, playing racquetball. And did I say he wasn't a fighter? I take that back. The man beat cancer four times. He was a fighter. He was a survivor. Some say you have to wait for your funeral to happen to see just how loved you are. That is not the case with Leon. Everywhere he went, people wanted to be around him. Even his children shared that he was so well known that once you mentioned Leon was your father, you were greeted with enthusiasm and excitement. His beloved wife of 40 years shares that his death was unexpected. How could it not be? He just never slowed down. He never showed his true age. When it comes to senior citizens, and Leon was 82 when he passed, we always hear about a process of slowing down, maybe becoming more of a homebody, perhaps reading more, getting into a quiet routine, naps, television, quiet dinners. In Leon, we experience the opposite. He couldn't ever just sit around in the house. He would always make it a point to be around others. He would go to coffee shops. He and his wife would go to dinner with friends. And he was 
all up, always up for adventure. They certainly always did a lot of traveling. Life is a gift. It is to be treasured, valued, and lived to its fullest. We are to enjoy the blessings we have and to look to share what we have gained with others. Leon will be remembered for his friends, hobbies, and business relationships, but he was also a giver. During his trips to Boston to visit various hospitals, he had a soft heart for the children of St. Jude. It was one of his favorite philanthropic endeavors. Just as he had a passion for life, he wanted to share those blessings with others. For instance, Father Andrew shared with me that Leonidas was also generous to special causes within the parish in an anonymous way. There is a song which repeats, Life is a gift and the giver is good. Life is a gift and the giver is good. Let us seek to enjoy life just as Leon has. Recognize it as a gift from God. Each day, each hour, each moment. His energy and drive are the mark of a man that recognized the value of hard work, who recognized the value in discipline, and yet at the same time, the value for life itself. Let him inspire us to enjoy our lives, not just when we're on vacation, but when we're working as well. In the simple, even in the, in the mundane, to be thankful for our families, for our responsibilities, and for the little things that only come around once as we know it. To you, his wife, children, grandchildren, and friends, let him be your gift that you always carry with you. Even though he may not be physically present, he will always be in your thoughts, your memories, and in your hearts. You will carry him with you always. His boat was called the Big Tuna, and he frequently saw himself piloting the waters. His wife shared that one time on the water, he taught her how to navigate the boat so that if something ever happened to him on the water, she could navigate back safely. Liz, that day has now come for you, your children, and your grandchildren. In the scriptures, Peter was invited by our Lord to join him and walk on the water. He invites us to navigate the troubling sea of Leon's sudden passing with our faith and with our trust in Christ. Matthew 14, 28 says, And Peter went down from the boat and walked upon the waters to come to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. Let us not be afraid. Let us trust in our Lord through his actions, example, and life. Leonidas has left us all blueprints on how to live life to the fullest, to be thankful to our Lord for all the blessings which we are given each and every day. Leonidas, your family will miss you. We will always remember you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us rise and say prayers for the repose of his soul. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul, the servant of God, Leonidas. Leon departed this life and for the forgiveness of his sins. 
voluntary and involuntary. The Lord have mercy. Let the Lord our God establish his soul where the just repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of his sins. From Christ our mortal King and God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of all spirits and flesh, who has trodden down death, destroying the power of the devil, bestowing life on your world, to the soul of your servant, Leonidas Leon, departed this life. Do yourself, O Lord, give rest in a place of light, in a place of green pasture, Amen. in a place of refreshment, Amen. from where pain and sorrow and mourning are fled away. Amen. Every sin by him committed in thought, word, or deed, do you as our good and loving God forgive, seeing that there is no man that shall live and sin not. For you alone are without sin. Your righteousness and your law is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Leonidas, Leon, o Christ our God. And to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your holy good and life-creating spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us. For he, as a mortal king, has authority over both the dead and the living. Through the intercessions of the spotless and pure and holy mother, of his holy and just friend Lazarus, who lay in the grave four days, of the holy and glorious forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, may he give rest to our brother who has departed from us. And... Number him among the just and holy through his goodness and compassion as our merciful God. Everlasting be your memory, a dear brother, and wor uh, wor worthy of blessedness and eternal memory. Everlasting be the memory. Everlasting be the memory, everlasting be his memory. I'll provide you the opportunity to pay your last respects to the servant of God, Leonidas. When we come forward, we will be prompted by the funeral staff. We will proceed from the back rows first, with the family being the last ones to uh, embrace. We will come down the center aisles and make sure that we are socially distanced. So whether you're coming from the left or from the right, we will all come down the center aisles and then proceed down the side aisle, uh, proceed down the side aisle. When we do come forward to embrace, we will obviously have the, uh, the Leonidas in front of us, but we will also have an icon of the resurrection of Christ. Within this icon, we see Jesus being victorious over death, and he is carrying in his arms two individuals. Those individuals are Adam and Eve, but they represent all of humanity. 
It is good to bow down to the icon. It is good to make the form of the sign of the cross and then to give the final embrace to our servant of God, Leonidas. Mm, brethren, come and let us a farewell kiss give to him whom death has taken and offer thanks to God for he has departed from the bosom of his kin and he hastens to burial no longer remembering vanity nor yet the flesh which is often sore distressed where are now his kindred and comrades now is come the hour of parting let us pray to the Lord to bring him to his rest. Run, what at this last moment means your distress of parting your welling? What means your funeral dirge? Come and give a kiss to him so lately with us, for consigned to the grave is he, with a stone he will be covered. Darkness is his dwelling place, he with the dead is entombed. Come all you his kindred and comrades, now is come the hour of parting. Let us pray to the Lord to bring him to his rest. Mother of the never setting sun, Parent of our God, O oh, preserve them that set their hope on you. Intercede, we pray you, with our greatly gracious Lord, that repose may be granted him, that now is departed, in that habitation where repose the souls of the just and unto everlasting remembrance set him in the courts of the righteous made all blameless as the air of blessings divine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Looking on me as I lie here, prone before you, voiceless and unbreathing, mourn for me, everyone and brethren, friends and kindred, and you who knew me well. For but yesterday with you I was talking, and suddenly there came upon me the fearful hour of death. Therefore come, all 
you that long for me and kiss me with a last kiss of parting. For no longer shall I walk with you nor talk with you henceforth. For to the judge I go where no person is valued for his early station. Yea, slave and master together stand before the Lord, king and soldier, rich man and poor man, all accounted as equal rank for each one according to his own deeds shall be glorified or shall be put to shame. Therefore I beg you all and implore you to offer prayer unceasingly for me to Christ our God, that I be not a sign for my sins to the place of torment, but that I be assigned to the place where there is light of life, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Through the prayers of her that gave you birth, O Christ, and the prayers of your forerunner, of the apostles, the prophets, the hierarchs, the ascetics, and of all the righteous, and of all the saints, to your sleeping servant do you now grant repose. Presvias tiste cusi se Christa, quieto martiron su apostolum profiton i erarchon O Sion, que diceon, que pandon ton naion, ton quimicenda dolon su, ana, pavso. and the prayers of your forerunner, of the apostles, the prophets, the hierarchs and ascetics, and of all the righteous, and of all the saints, to your sleeping servant, do you now grant repose?
looks excellent. At this time, we will provide the anointing of the ancient rites of purification with the sprinkling of, of oil, which is a sense of, gives us a sense of cleaning, of forgiveness, of reconciliation. And then we will also sprinkle a little bit of the earth onto him, which reminds us that it is the earth from, that we come from, but it is ultimately also to the earth that we return. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I shall be clean. You shall wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Του Κυρίου η γη και το πλήρωμα αυτής οικουμένοι και πάντες οι κανδικούντες εν αυτή γη ή και εις γη απελεύσει. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and all that dwell therein. You are dust and to dust you shall return. The prayers of all the fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us, Dio Fondon Agion Patero Nimon, Kiri Su Christeo Theos, Eleison Ke Soso Nimon. Amen. Blessed is the way wherein you walk this day for this. 